You know, the other thing is propaganda. We cannot underestimate. Uh, I have never seen in my, I'm 62, I've never seen so much war propaganda in my life as has been directed towards Ukraine. Zelensky is the president of a kleptocracy. Ukraine is completely run by oligarchs and criminal gangs. And that is the, that's the truth. That's all he, he is. And I think, it, but, but you see the power of propaganda. So he was an actor. Uh, one of the oligarchs picked him to run for president. <laughs> Funny and how people, that works, isn't it? They and always the find same an actor. people, the same people who 40 years ago, I remember all these liberals, oh, it's so embarrassing. Reagan was an actor. How can we have a president who's an actor? And they're actually saying, isn't it cool that Zelensky was an actor? Marty, they were just saying that about Trump. They were just saying, oh, he's just a reality TV star. And exactly. <laughs> exactly. And that was a reason to hate him. But now that's a reason to love um, uh, Zelensky, a man who's clearly in over um, uh, his head at this um, uh, very important point in history. But I don't think we can um, we can underestimate um, or rather, should I say overestimate the amount of propaganda and um, the state of corporate media. It just declines and declines and declines. And all they do is repeat what the State Department mm -hmm. says. They, I remember the run-up to the Iraq, Iraq War, which is now almost 19 years ago. They would allow some dissenting voices in. The New York Times or the Washington Post would have someone in an op-ed saying, I think this is a bad thing. Or Now it's, uh, it is done. You are, those narratives are completely excluded. So unless you have this high level of interest, unless you seek out voices like yours and mine, all you have is the New York Times and NPR and CNN. And the more you watch them, actually, the less you know, the more misinformed um, you are.